Welcome back everybody. In this episode, I will be uh, showing you how to make the AI from the last video, the Zelda Combat, chase you like this. Um, it's pretty simple. It just requires uh, basically just checking where you are, where the player, where the uh, cat is, and then it chases you. So now they can fight back from my attacks, and obviously I can still kill. Uh, I can't believe I just killed more cats, but they were teaming on me. You, everybody saw that. Yeah, so I'll get down to business. Okay, so first of all, we're starting with the cat that we made last episode, uh, and all that was is its collision group is on one, just like the um, the projectile or the uh, sorry the melee hit that the uh, character puts out, um, so that. Uh, when it gets hit by group one, it plays a sound effect and is hidden. Uh, that's basic stuff. And when it hits the player, it uh, hides the player for for 0.2 seconds, then shows them and waits again so that the player flashes when it's game being hit. But then this is where it changes. Um, to make the cat uh, follow the player or chase the player, all we want to do is have um, an update. So or. No, we want to store the actor, the the player's variables, the position variables, uh, in um, in a variable. So I've already named mine player X. Uh, you can also name it player Y. Um, so on update, we want to make sure it's the player. It's referencing the player. So it gets the player's variables and it knows exactly where the player is in the scene. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to store the actor's position variables of self, which is whatever it is, you know, the cat. Um, and then we just want to, this one can be a local one, or yeah, well, they can all be local ones, but because uh, it, it's just the cat that needs to know this. Uh, so we've got actor X and actor Y. And then what we want to do now is have a group for for each movement and the movements will be left right up and down so i've made an event group i can name this uh move left and what it wants to be is a if variable compare with variable we don't need the else um so we just need to um we just need to know is the player on to the left of the cat so we just have to say is the player x greater no sorry less than because the top left of the um the top left of the scene is zero zero and the bottom right is uh you know the highest number uh, on both sides so we want to say is the player x less than the actor x and if it is we want to move relative and we want to move um to minus one x so um the cat will move minus one so it'll move just once across and this is on update so we can change how fast the cat moves by uh by doing this if we put it to to the four speed it will go really fast towards the player i think you can test that out um but yeah so we've now got move left we can now do it with move right. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, you have to make sure the collisions is enabled. Otherwise, it will just go through the barriers you create. Um, so make sure we take this one. And then we can call this one move right. So is player X greater than, um, the, than the cat's position? And if it is, we want to add one to the X relative um, and now we can do, we can move up. So let's call this one move up. And if it's the player Y value is less than the actor's Y value. And then we have to make sure that it's minus one on the Y because we're decreasing the value to get up closer to the top left um and then we just want to add move down so if is is the player's y greater than 
the actor's Y value. And if it is, we add one. So we're moving down. And we could uh, introduce these, but uh, it's just one value, so it doesn't actually change anything. So we'll save that. And then we would want to... I'll just delete the other ones I made. And we can just copy and paste this around. There shouldn't be a problem um, because it's referencing itself. Um, and then hopefully they'll chase us. Here they come, the cats attack. And you see, that as they hit into me, um, I, it's doing the damage animation thing that I created last time. Uh, and we can still fight them because they're the same cat as they were last episode. Fantastic. I hope... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I hope this helped you guys. Um, this is basically um, what is needed to make a player... F I mean, an actor follow you. Uh, if you want to make a move slower, you can either uh, change the, the movement speed or you can have a weight value in here that... Um, before it all happens, to make the um, cat lag a bit before it actually moves towards you. Um, and on that note, I'll say thanks for watching everyone. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any other ideas for videos you want to see. And uh, thanks again for watching.